Did I do my hair? Uh. Listen, this is to OII, anybody affiliated with OII, including myself, but of course I'm not to blame here. Yes, exactly. Now, terrible opening line, I'm not to blame here, but the fact is, OII, you are going down. You're going down, not because of me, no, because of yourselves, because of the admins that are in at the moment, because of the way you're acting, behaving, and I really call it acting, and you can call me a reactor whereas you're just actors. Not all of you, but too many of you on OII are actors at the moment. You're acting as if you're angels and gods and like perfect, lovely people, when in fact many of you aren't. Many of you have put down other members in front of my eyes when I've read posts on OII Facebook. It's absolutely disgraceful. Now I hear from a little bird that Curtis has actually got health issues and sick. Plus, Curtis's, I won't mention their second name, Curtis's, um, um, partner died in, in the last year or two, I can't remember exactly which year, but that can't be good for the mental state of Curtis. So the bottom line here is that, um, you know, uh, there's a lot of bad work going on in OII. I'm completely against the work, and I call it like this, the work that OII has been doing the last hmm, eight months or more. You know, I'm against OII at the moment. Yeah, for my entire life I've been pro-OII, I've been trying to get people to go to OII, join OII, whatever. You know, um, and now I can't, I just simply can't. It's just wrong. The admins that are in there that have just been made admins by Curtis himself, and even me calling Curtis him is showing more respect for Curtis than Curtis is showing for me. Curtis has called me a him and a he and a blah blah. Does a, does a he wear this sort of thing? No. Thank you very much. Does a he wear dresses? No, a he doesn't wear dresses. You know, does a he say on their GavinColeman.com site, I'm not an M, I'm not an F, I'm an I, intersex, I am me. Exactly. Thank you. So I show more respect for most of you than you do for me. That's fine. Somebody, um, Della Grace, came in and said, yeah, you've got such a bad reputation. Well, I said to Della Grace, depends who you talk to, doesn't it? Thank you. Depends who you mingle with. Exactly. So I'm just showing you the, the angry side of myself here, absolutely, because I think OII is a fucking disgrace, a fucking disgrace at the moment. Um, I read a policy, on, um, I've said that a few times in a video, I've read a policy on OII fa uh, Facebook, or else it was OII Australia, it's probably OII Australia actually, where first of all they said that non-intersex people shouldn't have a voice on intersex issues. Wow, holy mother of fucking God. That's fucking disgraceful. I'm going to use all the F words here because this is how angry I am about it. It's a fucking disgrace. You should be ashamed of yourselves to exclude non-intersex people when in fact intersex people themselves are fucking excluded from the non-intersex population in fucking general, you stupid bastards. Yeah? Okay. Second thing I have a problem with OII is... Um, when, the, when the Intersections documentary came out, it was a while before they wrote a review, which is fine, because I thought they were going to word it bloody better. But instead, OII Australia again came in with a review, and basically OII Australia is the main OII contributor at the moment, by the way, OII International. OII Australia is doing a lot of work. Gina has done a whole load of bloody work for the OII community and the intersex community and also the trans community, all right? Much more work than any OII person I've ever come across, in fact. So on that level, Gina is totally good in my books, but Gina in my the Right Now books is fucked in my books because I think Gina is full of themselves. I think Gina is a moaner. A moaner on the intersections video talking about, you know, such a bad life and blah, blah, in such a, like, a moany way. Like, fuck's sake, grow up, child. You know, um, I also think Gina OII, OII, Gina Wilson I'm talking about here, um, I think that person did a crap TED Talks um, talk. Really crap. I mean, I don't want to be associated with people like that, sorry, um, who are intersex. Now, you could all say, I don't want to be associated with piece of party if he's intersex, right, blah, 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 right. And I say he because you all generally think I'm a he, but I'm not. So fuck off, you know, really seriously fuck off there because how many times do I have to state that I'm not fucking male and I'm not a fucking female and that I'm just me? Do you know what I mean? I'm inter-fucking gender. Is that fucking clear enough? I'm pan-gendered. You know, I waver like all of you do, actually, but you don't want to admit it, but fine. 
will we'll wait centuries for you to come to that conclusion about yourselves, and that's fine. Good luck and enjoy your goddamn short lives, by the way, short lives on planet Earth. We don't live as long as dinosaurs. You know, we don't live as long as many species on this planet. We actually do die within a nowadays 80 to 90 year period. All right, get that clear. You know, so you're wasting my time and wasting your own times bullshitting other people on my bad reputation. My bad reputation comes from me giving a shit, me standing up for others, me getting against the system that isn't working, me arguing with the leaders who are maybe a little bit warped at this time, maybe they're a bit overstretched, you know, maybe they, like Curtis, health issues, hasn't explained that, heard that from a little bird, and yet they have the enough health to fucking click a button and ban me from OII. I was banned two weeks ago, but I sent chain mail messages out to every single member, nearly, I was getting there and didn't hit every member, and I got reinstated, and then I got taken away again, without a warning. That's fucking bullshit. OII, you should be fucking ashamed of yourselves. Now I'm talking with another uh, OII affiliate, and basically this person is the only person, the only person, so award coming in the post to you, the only person who's actually said, okay, let's Skype, you know, which would be bloody fairly decent in this day and age, to Skype, wouldn't you think, instead of me YouTube videoing monologue here, you're listening to my voice, it would be better to have a Skype a conference call or whatever, what have you, but thank God this person has actually bothered themselves, but of course this person has bothered themselves to be this in the same intersex documentary as myself. Another point is, there aren't too many XXYs, there aren't too many intersex people, in fact, on YouTube doing videos. I'm one of the first people, in fact, I am the first person who did intersex videos on YouTube. You can't take that, take that away from me. I'm the first person to, to bring intersex issues into the YouTube realm, all right? Now there's many people. I'm really happily, fantastically happy about that. Um, but the reality is that my name isn't mentioned, and I don't need my name mentioned. I'm bloody popular as it is. I can't walk down the fucking street without somebody fucking saying hello to me. So, And that is in a lot of cities, by the way. Do you want to hear the cities? No problem. Dresden? No problem. Berlin? Hmm. Slightly a problem because it's a big city, but still a lot of people do meet me and they say, hey, Gavin, aren't you the guy? Whatever, right? Dublin, no problem. Anywhere in Ireland, no problem. People know me, all right? Be clear about this, people. Prague, yeah, I haven't been there in years, but still a lot of people know me, all right? Where else do they know me? Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter, right? But they're the places I've lived recently, okay? Recently. Um... Basically, the bottom line is that, uh, you know, I do a lot of activ activism work um, in my daily life. Not a minute, not, a, not let's say, not a day goes by that I haven't told another stranger, yet another stranger, face to face, about intersex. All right, let's be clear about that. I wonder, can any of you attest to saying the same thing? I highly bloody doubt it, to be honest with you. But it doesn't matter. My anger here is not towards the uh, non-credit that I get. It really isn't. I couldn't give a flying arse shit fuck how much credit I get from others on this point because it's just in my heart and soul to do what I do. Do you get that? Probably not, but that's the re reality. But I'm just going to say on the point of um, credit giving, it should be obvious that I'm an activist. You might not agree with me, but it's quite fucking obvious. But you don't, many of the OII people don't even want to look at that. And my name hasn't been mentioned in the lists of names that have been, of the people that have been in the Intersections documentary, which is absolutely highly disturbing, really, because that means, do you know what that means, OII? That means anybody who you don't personally like won't be associated in your group now which is highly disturbing because it means you don't get the conflicting ideas and points of views. It, does, it means that you're only listening to people who are actually talking your particular language and who agree with absolutely everything you say. It means that you're going to live in your own little world and you're not going to actually be in the situation, the space of society deciding amongst themselves to actually discuss intersex and deciding What's the best course of action to take? Because we're all in this together. And the way OII is putting it is that we're not all in this together. We're all in a, our own little group, intersex group, and the people who are against us can fuck off, you know, because we don't want to know. 
and that's the worst bloody possible thing you could possibly do but you probably don't see that because you're maybe full of yourselves you've got 200 members in OII Facebook may I be clear on Facebook that's the whole world with the possibility of connection and you've only got 200 members do you not see the sadness in that please other intersex groups have got much more than 200 why aren't people associating themselves with OII Facebook is it possibly because it's kind of a dead site normally I think so why aren't people associating 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 themselves with bodies like ours on the internet as well probably one thing definitely is because it's an open group but the other point is that so many people that are still a part of BLO are wankers they're fuckers they don't give a shit they're just there to show off and to say hey I know more than you rather than actually being truly supportive and caring about each post that they should be reading most people skip the posts they don't want to read everything I fucking read everything in the in 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 BLO except for certain um, um, areas um, M or KH as far as I remember um, I haven't gone into that section at all um, uh, but the CAH I've gone into that, AIS I've gone into that, XXY I've gone into that, um, uh, any of the uh, other off-topic sections I've gone into that and I've read every post in there you lads and lassies and intersexers. That's a fact. So unfortunately not a lot of people actually know as much as I do. That's the fact. My crap memory um, is is one of my worst um, characteristics because yeah as much as I read and I learn and I and I talk to millions of people I do forget people's names and I forget information at times for fuck's sake of course you wouldn't be forgiving on that no of course not because you're all elite and thinking that you're higher than me I'm not trying to say I'm higher than you and you get that all wrong you fucking eejits you really are eejits oh my god I'm one of these people who gets people together. I'm one of these people who doesn't let other people bully other people in real fucking life. Muscle bastards coming up to people and giving them shit. I'm up there. Look at me. Do I have muscles? Show me. Show me. Have I really got muscles? Seriously, it's hardly muscle. It's really not. As you know, it's. I'm not. A, I'm a thin person. Let's be fucking clear, people. All right. But I do stand up for people all the time. Um. I. I do see myself as much better, not bigger. You know, but better. Than, than most of the people that represent OII at the moment. And I'm going to name names now. First first place, <laughs> no voice. But first place is, and thank God, that goes with Louise Van Heen. <laughs> That's the way she is. I say she, even though she looks so butch that you'd wonder, right? And that's an insult because it doesn't matter how butch or feminine you fucking look, people. You know, it, it shouldn't be put in the category of male or female anyway. That should be out the window by now. But it isn't. Why not? Because people are not getting together on this. Second name I'll just mention so I don't go off the point and I don't lose time on this video. Karen fucking Angelica Gottschalk. What type of human being is that exactly? Because I don't see any decent human being in that person. That person writes shit like as if they're an angel and then... In the background, shadows do other shit, bitches about people, and actually in public as well, basically states very oftenly that, um, oftenly, often, that, um, you know, uh, that no, that's not right. What somebody else writes, and they'll write underneath it and go, no, that's not right. I know the better information, blah, blah. I mean, come on, fuck yourself, seriously, Karen. You are a fucking bitch. That's the reality. You're a bitch, just like Louise Van Heen is a fucking bitch. The two of you are bitches. Let's be clear. Bitches. You can call me a bastard. I don't mind being a bastard in this situation because you're bitches. Okay? You have no fucking sense of decency. Yeah? None. Like, I get to these states of mind where I end up calling you bitches because I've taken too much sometimes, you know what I mean, from you fuckers. You know? Uh, let me cl be clear on my anger here. It's not going to affect me in the head like I'm not twisted in my emotions in my stomach or anything here at all, right? And I'm not raging and seething, you know, and, you know, blood boiling here. Not at all. I'm very passionate about what I'm saying. I think, I think y you too need to be taken out of any type of administration situation because you don't have any common sense, you know? And you certainly don't have empathy.
and you certainly don't have ways with words and you certainly I would say I would expect don't get out much to be honest with you um, other people are better um, and I would like to make OII better so I'm complaining I hope you've listened to my complaints and rants ciao peace eventually